Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Linnea and in today's video we're doing a bit of gardening and grocery haul. Let's go ahead and start with the grocery haul. Um, I went to Aldi's again. My last video I also went to Aldi's and I got some new stuff today that I haven't tried before so I'm excited to see how all of that works. But let's go ahead and jump on into it. Starting off, we got some cheese. I really like this stuff for like sandwiches or just cheese and crackers. I got some more milk. These are, um, see, I think they're honey. For this. Yes, honey crisp apples. And these ones didn't come in a plastic bag, which is part of the reason why I got them. I don't really like to get fruits and vegetables in plastic bags as much. These grapes are kind of an exception, but you know, I think you all know what I mean. I mean everything else is in packaging so it's kind of like if I can save on packaging I try to anywho's um I got chocolate chip cookies just because you know sometimes you get a little hankering for a bit of chocolate or cookie or something sweet so I like to have these at the end of the day sometimes <laughs> and I got two of these these are so good these parmesan garlic and herb pita chips are so good I got some of the quinoa and I saw I did get the cotton candy grapes which I have never had and I am so excited to taste these I got the bananas these go so fast in our house I probably should get like two of them but usually by the end of using these they got spots so it's like well I don't know so I just buy the one at a time and I probably go to the grocery store about once a week just to get kind of a catch-all of random things which is kind of what this whole haul is so Stay with me, guys. I know I'm a little squirrel right now, but it's okay. Um, I got veggie straws, fruit snacks, and this one is different than the last ones I got, um, just because this one had more and it was about the same price. So I'm like, um, hello, okay, let's do that. These were so good. So last time I had these and they were amazing. And these are under $3 at Aldi's. So I thought that was awesome. And then these are uh, peanut butter almond dark chocolate and I'm not a massive fan of almonds but like if there's chocolate involved okay I can change my ways a little so I got this coffee this smells so good like oh it smells so good and yeah I'm super excited to try this so we will see I think it will be good just because it smells amazing and I got me some vitamins because I have a not, I have a not, I haven't been taking them in a very long time. So my energy and I feel like my metabolism could use a little bit of assistance. So I'm going to go ahead and give these a shot again. My child, he loves like puppy type snacks and the baby ones are getting really expensive because he goes through them so fast. So I got him the white cheddar puffs. And I know they can contain a lot of salt, so we don't give him tons of them, but just a few makes him really happy. And then I also got these penguin snacks. He loves those too. And I got a little salad, um, a pizza. We got some moo tubes, which is just like gogurt. So we like those a lot. Um, to go with those pita chips right there, I got this. It's a hummus quartet. This was under $4. It has classic roasted red pepper roasted garlic and cilantro jalapeno so i'm really excited they look really good so that you can see kind of the colors of them but i'm excited to try that and i got some alfredo sauce i got this which i've never tried um i've heard some things about it if you're a millennial like me <laughs> i've seen something on tiktok so i thought i would go ahead and give it a try and they were saying that it's much better for you than some other ones because it doesn't contain some sort of something that's found in other oils. I don't really know, you guys. I don't know. I'm not a health expert. I literally don't know much about being healthy. Probably judging me by my groceries. But I thought I would just give it a try, see if we like it. And, of course, more ranch because I'm in the Midwest and this is, like, 
the dressing. Got this mild chunky salsa because your girl can't take too much heat. So I got this and I, I really, really like this. It has just enough spice to give you a little kick. And I, I can have a little bit of spicy, like I can do medium level spice, but I just like the mild ones because then my throat doesn't feel like fuzzy for a little while. And I got almond milk because we're doing smoothies. I like how I'm saying why I got each item. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I got these diapers. I never tried these. They were like $10, so I was really excited to try them. And I mean, they say good things, up to 12 hours of protection, hypoallergenic liner, four layer system. So we'll see, and you get 60 diapers. So I'm excited. And then I thought I'd just go ahead and try their sensitive wipes as well. And something I haven't gotten before, we usually get the Quilted Northern, and this one said compare it to Quilted Northern. So I'm like, okay. And it's septic safe, which is good for us. So this is just some toilet paper. And then I got this, um, what are these called? Paper towels, because it's nice to have if you have a toddler. All right, you guys, well, that is it for the grocery haul. I hope you guys liked it. And we'll go ahead and jump into the gardening portion in just a second. Don't expect too much, I'm just gonna warn you. My child is trying to help me and it was getting frustrating, but I got it done and yeah, so I don't know. So if you guys want to watch that, that'll be happening next. I did paint this blue. I thought I was gonna go with the, like, I don't know, we'll call it red, but it's kind of like a watermelon color. Anyways, I painted the chair blue because I thought it might be cute as a planter because it's really not suitable for my child. He tips it over so easily. So I need to get him something else. But I think this big planter turned out so good. And like the rest of them will be cute. I like the blue ones a lot more than the red ones. But you guys, just wait. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Painted this blue. I painted the top of that red color thinking, oh, maybe it'll kind of look cute. No, no. So as you can see, I sort of tried to cover it up. But we'll just kind of ignore the imperfections because this is gardening and this is life. And we're just out here 
having fun, not wearing too much, but this post turned out so cute. And then I painted this little hook below and then this, oopsie, sorry, this little, I don't know what these are called, but I painted him blue too and he looks so cute. Hang on, let me stabilize my camera. I mean, how cute is that? So I'm really happy with how that all looks and I'm really happy with how this all looks. And I can't wait to get my plants planted in these ones. Okay, so I have filled all of these pots with dirt. I am a disgusting mess, so I will not be featured on camera right now. But I've got my cute little chair and it's all blue now and it's really cute. And I've got these pots. And I was thinking maybe I'd put that pot on that chair. I think that'd be cute. And then, yeah, I don't know what else I'm doing yet. So don't ask me. But you will probably see at the end of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these potted and we'll come back. Okay, you guys, I sort of lied about coming back. But this is how it turned out. I hope you guys love it. And I'll have to talk to you guys next time because I ran out of time. And I can't film anymore because it is raining. But you guys all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye.